welcome you back to Black Side tonight. We're going to talk about social media influence, Carlson, and saying hell no to Kamala Harris' interview. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel, hit that like button, hit that notification button, but also comment on this video. Kyle Sinet said the Secret Service, other social media influence, have been trying to get in touch with him to do an interview with Kamala Harris. And he said, hell no. Nah. He said, I'm not involved in politics. I don't know nothing about politics, but they're probably willing to pay him a large sum of money to do an interview with her because of the following that he has on Twitch, TikTok, and other social media platforms. We just saw former President Donald Trump have an interview with Aiden Ross, and plus Trump's next interview is coming this Monday with Elon Musk. He's reaching hundreds of millions of people with these interviews, and they need Kamala Harris to have that equal visibility on social media. It's said that Kamala is paying social media influencers to get her name out so they can come out and tell their followers to support them. We saw that she was actually paying people to go to her Atlanta rally, getting them out, having social media influencer at her Philadelphia rally when they announced Tampon Tim. So she's been out there spending a lot of money. That's why if you go to her website, you don't see any policies. All you see is donate to Kamala because Kamala is trying to pay and win this election through dollar signs, through social media, through media itself that will support her. Mainstream media, through academia, through the entertainment industry, she is going to say as less as possible. Remember, she hasn't did an interview in 16, 17 days. And you see out there Trump and J.D. Vance talking to the media today. Their planes happen to run diagonally together at the airport. J.D. Vance ran over, spoke to the media, said, she'll never talk to you. She won't talk to you. Her and Tim Walls, Tampon Tim, was running away from the media, making sure they got into those limousines because they don't want to answer any questions. They would rather go on a platform when they know what the questions are going to be and the answers that they're going to be given. This is another basement campaign similar to what they ran with Joe Biden. This is Basement 2.0. They think this will work. She will go to the convention, give a speech, maybe show up for a debate, but she will not, I repeat, she will not do an interview unless she knows all the questions and she'll be able to fluently give all the answers. And I don't know if Kai Central will buckle because it's gonna be a lot of pressure for him to give her this interview and give her this platform so she can get as many votes as she possibly can. She's losing votes with ADOS and FBA, and those are margin votes. That could be 100,000 in Atlanta, could be 100,000 in Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin. Hey, you need every vote you can get in this election, and you need all the influence that you could possibly get, and she needs it bad. Because Tampon Tim is being hit hard by the media. He's being hit hard because of his military record. He's being hit hard because of the way that he's talking about transgender transitions, the way he's talking about putting tampons in fourth graders' bathroom. All this stuff that she's dealing with, she's just going to focus on influencers, focus on the media, Focus on other people to get her message out because we definitely don't hear her policy. She talks about abortion all the time. That's her number one issue that she feels that she can bring white suburban women over to her campaign right now because she's not talking about economic issues. She's really not talking about that border. 
and she's going to quit talking about Tampon Tim simply because the advantage that she thought that she would get with him is now gone. The media has delved into his background. His background is shady as hell. She should have picked Josh Shapiro, but this is the person she feels most comfortable with. This is the first decision that she has actually made. And when you look at his background, that is not one person I would take. The man even got a DUI. Tim Walls is a piece of work. And everybody in the media knows it. That's why you see the media saying he's folksy. They're trying to cover for him to the American people and basically telling them, don't listen to the Internet. That's all misinformation. Remember what they did with Hunter Biden? They told you that was Russian disinformation. Come to find out everything is true. He's been convicted. And if she happens to be getting there, she's going to have to go and basically say, hey, Hunter, you don't have to go to jail. She can sign that over real quick. You know, so let me tell you something. This is how she's running this campaign, and she's going to find a way to get this young man to give her an interview. She's got the money. She's got plenty of money, and she's got plenty of contacts in Hollywood who will tell him, this is what we'll give you to give her that interview. I'm telling you, he's getting calls at night. He said the Secret Service has called him. Social media influencers are calling. They want that collaboration as quickly as possible. And he's gonna fall for it. This is the name of the game. This is how our campaign is gonna be run. We have approximately about 85 days left in this campaign. And she is going to run this basement campaign and let the chips fall where they may fall. If she wins, she wins. If she loses, she loses. But she's going to try and win the same way that Joe Biden beat Trump. She believes that she can replicate that same game plan that he did back in 2020 that'll lead him to victory. She'll get help from the deep state. She'll get help from the PACs, from people like Mark Zuckerberg and the billionaires like George Soros. They will find the votes for her, she believes, to push her over the top against President Trump. I want to thank you for listening to Black Side. I want to hear your comments in the comments. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button, but also share this video. And please, please hit that like button.